Hey, hey, welcome to episode 60. Let's go back to the game. I actually was a little bit more productive than I expected that I would be. Ooh, mob loot. I can't help it, I must collect it. I think I lost a... I think I lost a golem. One, two, three. I count four. I think I, I think I had five the other day. Oh well. All right. So I hollowed out the game. Oh, oh yeah. And um, started planting trees because, believe it or not, I ran out of wood. Mmm. My coffee is amazing this morning. Um. So I've been... Wow, that is a monster tree. Jeez. So I've been up here uh, chopping them down. Not really replanting the ones I've already planted, but letting the other, like these ones here, still grow. I mean, they'll, they'll grow right next to each other. That's another... I was kind of talking about how I liked oak trees the best, and that is a definite um, bonus to using oak is that they don't have uh, proximity growth restrictions so they can grow right next to each other without a problem which is super nice mm. so I'll I'll do that off camera entrance is somewhat the same this guy doesn't need to be here anymore though so I have like kind of a a side secret entrance here and I've been filling in actually I'll show you I've been filling in the holes going out this way and you can kind of see where I've been kind of doing that and the reason for that is is to prevent those uh, drop-ins from the mobs because I've been uh, building at night so I don't want any, uh, don't want any surprises, so. Alright, so let's check it out. Oh, and I moved all my chests and stuff down here too, because I don't have to keep coming back up. What do you think? I'm still not convinced that I like the walls as logs, but for right now, it'll work. And I've been getting an obscene amount of cobble, so I've been cooking it as I've been going, and then as the chest right there gets full, I've been taking them back over to uh, uh, my storage room. Okay, so here is kind of the plan here. Um, this is the, the zombie chamber, and this is where they're going to come up. And... Uh, I put in a way down to the under, I don't even know what I want to call a basement or the redstone floor, because uh, that's where I got to do all my wiring and such. And then I'm, uh, I put this button here because this will be like the start of the game. So click that, and then that allows um, the game to start. So, and then where these stone uh, stripes are. These are, I, they're not really placeholders, I just didn't remove them. Uh, they are going to be where uh, pistons are going to go. So when I said there was a lot of pistons, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> the, uh, well, let's just call it what it is. This is a court, all right? And the court is 11 wide and I don't know how deep or how long. Oh, and this, all this dirt here, not going to exist. Not going to exist at all. Um, as we talked about before, this balcony here is going to run the whole length of the court. And I plan on putting one on the other side. Uh, at least I think I am, uh, for people to watch. But I don't know that it's really going to make a difference which side you stand on. And since people are going to come from, you know, from this direction in order to to attend, 
you know, to either come right down here and watch or to, you know, to climb down and play, you know, to actually be in the game itself. I don't know that being over there even matters. So what I'll probably do is put it, I'll leave this here because I like it because it's on this, it's on this line here. I'll put another one of those right here. So that way, uh, people that want to come play are, all, are not coming down just from, you know, just from one spot. Um, all right, so let's go check out the underside here. Oop. So it's pretty much the same thing. I did the same lighting. Um, now here's the here's the difficult part. This floor is not going to stay at this level. Uh, there's going to be a significant amount of redstone under here. And typically I, I do keep it at two. So that way when you step in here, you kind of get that uncomfortableness. And that's in, that's on purpose to kind of remind me, hey, I'm I'm in an ugly area. I'm not, you know, don't decorate down here, although I started to. And I, I, I might um, just so I don't have to stare at dirt and stone and also allows me to repurpose the stone. But um, the thing is, is with some of the well, lack of a better term, contraptions that I'm going to have in here, uh, two is not going to work. It has to be taller to accommodate that. And in my in my test build, um, I almost ended up like carving out just certain sections and having like little gutters. And I'd rather just have the whole thing the same height rather than having like this part, you know, d down four, having this part remain down two, over here, down three. It just bugs me. So I don't know that I'm going to want to do that. So, oh, and I thought of an idea uh, that I'm probably going to tinker with today. Um, I don't know how dangerous it'll be, though. Um, ooh, these finished. How much more cobble do I have in here? Only two. Um... <clears throat> was making the having the zombie chamber be um, switchable because the way it is right now it's gonna be on full time once I once I get the 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 water in there and bust out those torches it'll be on all the time meaning all someone has to do is be within 16 blocks of that uh, that spawner and those things are gonna flow now if people are just over here kinda hanging out or they've just finished a game or whatever I don't I, I don't wanna have them just constantly you know uh, queuing up and and just having them all you know standing up here and have like hundreds of them I mean that that'll be unfun so I'd like to be able to switch it off so I'm thinking I might do to kind of mirror this to start the game is have a uh, lever. Oh, wait, that's not going to work, is it? Because that's a, oh, no, that'll work, <clears throat> is have a lever right there to kind of turn them on. Now, to turn it off, if there are zombies here, the only downside is you'll have to, you know, quack, 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 kill them, and then you can get to the lever to turn it off, which should be a big deal. And it has to be on this side because that's where the zombie chamber is. So what I'm thinking I'll do is is put in, um, where did I put them? I know they're in here. Ah, put in these guys. Now, the thing is I'm not sure exactly how many I need. Uh, and that's where that's where kind of the danger might come in a little bit. I, I actually just thought of it about a half hour ago. Uh, oddly enough, again, while I was in the shower, I thought about it. Uh, so I, I, I don't know the smoothest way to, t to do it, to be honest. So it might be kind of ugly. Um, so I'm kind of thinking out loud here. Well, you know what? Take, let's just go down and take a look. So... The, the the thing is is that the 
if we look at the light level, which is where it says BL. So I'm lining up the top just above this torch right here is the BL number. So that means the, the block that I'm standing on is 13. So that's this block right there. Step away, 12, 11, 10, blah, 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 blah. Now, as you're watching that number as I walk around, you notice that the low, <clears throat> the lowest number it seems to hit is 9. Is that correct? Or does it actually hit 8 anywhere? No, it was 9. So 8 is the lowest you want it to go. If it hits 7, that means this guy can spawn a mob. Now, the tricky part is, is having enough light in here so that no corner goes unlit, as well as above it. Because if I'm not mistaken, where that torch is right there, that counts as a space that a zombie can spawn on. So that's why, why I always put a torch on it. So now when it comes to putting these redstone lamps in here, uh, you kind of have to be mindful of, you know, effective space. You know, if you just put it in the corners, well, that's all well and good. But what about like in the middle or like the dead middle? You know, it's not going to light up. So got to be got to be careful with that. So I might so I'm I'm probably going to have to do some tests and probably have to fight off some zombies in here. <laughs> you know, I don't really need that anymore, do I? Oh, you know what I'm leaving it there for cuz when I come in here. Um and I put the buckets. I'm going to want to refill them. Um the other side of that is not just the the light space but also running the wires because the wires if you recall the the ceiling of this is so this is the court right the ceiling is actually one below this so so the ceiling in that room is actually where that sign is right here right so if i put the torch or not the torch but the uh lever here the wire is going to run out and it's going to go easily across uh the roof the ceiling of this so it'll be like coming out from uh, above there and going across the top so if I could just do a whole you know bevy of lights or redstone lamps in the ceiling that would be great because that would solve my problem I could do that not a problem but I don't know that this distance you know one two three four five six is gonna be enough to light this up so um, and I didn't bring a lever to test. So we need to run some tests. Ah, get up. Let's make a lever. Thankfully, levers are really, really cheap. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm sure I have more um, in my storage room, but I don't feel like going all the way back just for a lever. So... What I want to find out is how far that will travel. So, if I were to get away with having them just in the ceiling, what I would probably do is do the same shape. <sighs> Last of my coffee. The same shape that I did um, with the jacks in the, the base of the monument, where it was the five face of a die so like one directly above <clears throat> one directly above the spawner and then um a couple diagonal away but like i said the the height is what concerns me so um let's see here if i did one directly above right and i could do one let's see i what i'm looking at here is the uh the squares that uh that are being selected by the bounding boxes there. So I, if I had one there, that'd be one gap, two gap, one, no, no, that's not two gap, that's just one gap. And then if I put it there, that'd only be one gap. I might have to put it like here maybe. So let's, let's try that. See how, see how she looks here. Uh, 
All right. And then turn that on. And this says block level of 8, block level of 9, 10. Hmm. Now, there's torches down here, which are obviously complementing this. So if I break this one, and there's a torch here, break that one. Do I see any sevens anywhere in here? And yeah, I'm hearing skeletons up above. That's to be expected. Well, that's a good sign. I'm not seeing any sevens. So let's... Let's make some more, because <laughs> this would be great if I could just do it straight from the ceiling. That would make my day. So let's go up, and I'm going to need I'm going to need more. Oh yeah, the mobs can climb down here. They're smart enough. I've seen them, both uh, creepers and zombies. So I need to be on my alert here. Uh, I don't remember how to make a redstone lamp. <laughs> Uh, hmm. We'll just have to test it with, uh, with just the ones that I have for right now, I suppose. But I will need more levers, though. Now, it doesn't have to be levers. I'm going to stand over here where it's safer. It does not have to be levers. It could be just any source of power. It could be a lamp or whatever, but the thing about the levers is you can put them at pretty much any angle, so um, makes it easily accessible to power these things. All right. Do, 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 do. So now let's do, I guess let's just do all four, four corners and see how that looks. And we'll allow that count, we'll allow that to count as my center there. Yes, yeah, so imagine hearing that 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 zombie growl for like forever. As these guys were queuing up, that would be awful. All right, am I seeing any sevens? I'm not seeing any sevens. This is wonderful news. This makes me so happy. I was kind of nervous about that. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Now the question is, is obviously it works for over here, but my fear is, is whether or not the distance, the gap distance between that and the one going in here is going to make this area kind of dodgy, especially because this drops down a floor, drops down a level, and that makes it even more difficult. All right. Why do I have the feeling that there's going to be a skeleton trying to climb down here to come get me? <laughs> How is it in here? Okay, now that that can spawn. So, But it's outside the range of that. But natural spawning will happen. So we're going to put a torch there. Okay, so that could be good. Now, I think to make a redstone lamp, it's uh, like glowstone and redstone in like a 5-4 a, a um, every other pattern if I'm not mistaken so I might go do that oh hello you dead there's a zombie like right above me here So I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go to the storage room and go make some redstone lamps. In fact, I might just bring a whole bunch with me, uh, because I don't know that I'm not gonna. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm gonna be effectively wrapping up the the lighting inside the the zombie chamber, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna need more. I mean, in here I'm gonna use. Um, you know, I'm gonna have. Uh, Pistons and jacks and such, but in which case I grabbed all the all the jacks I have. I have 61. I hope that's going to be enough. All right, so let's go deliver these. 
Actually, I'm, I don't know sure how I'm doing on time. I don't want to bore you guys with going back and forth from the storage room, but... Oh, hey, Creeper. And Creeper's friend, the skeleton. Oh, come on. Shoot him. Shoot him. Give me another record. Come on. No, you aim too high. See, this is kind of nice as like a pseudo skeleton trap because they have to stay in here for the shade so they don't burn up. So this might be kind of fun for uh, getting records here. Yes. Shoot him, please. Shoot him. Crap! Ah! No! Dang it. That's right above my zombie chamber. Oof. Okay. Just dirt. Alright. I can fix dirt. That is not a problem. Okay, so... See if I can make some uh, redstone lamps, then I'll go... Um, run the wiring for those, and that's not something that I don't think you guys need to learn about, because it's pretty, pretty straightforward. It's just... Oh, hey, guy. What's happening? Can I kill you? I'd like the opportunity. Carrying a dirt block. You're so cute. Alright, um... That's not something that uh, is going to be any bit of, you know, difficulty at all. It's just a matter of literally laying the wire across the... <laughs> uh, across the the roof of the uh, of the zombie chamber. Uh, that's about as straightforward as redstone gets. You have a, you know, you have a you have a lever here. You run wire to a to a redstone lamp, and it turns it on, like that. That's simple. So, um, okay. So as far as the redstone lamp goes, let me see if I can remember how to turn those, how to do that. Um, I've had this uh, glowstone dust forever. Here's something. Uh, okay, and... Ooh! Ooh! I have more! Ooh! And levers, I'll grab those. But I'll make a couple more, just see if I can remember how. Uh, okay, so I want to say that you have to use more redstone than glowstone. So let's find out. Nope. So more glowstone. Put the glowstone in the five. So it's kind of like the uh, gunpowder and sand. Right? No! Okay, I'm doing something wrong here. What am I missing? Does it actually have to be proper glowstone? Oh, you know what? I bet it does. What am I doing? I think it has to be that and this. No? Okay. Maybe it's... Maybe it's like the... Um, what you call it? Uh, uh, the TNT recipe with like the... The gunpowder and sand, where it's like the 5-4, but um, maybe these have to be, maybe these have to be in the fives? And yes, I know I could look it up, but I am just being lazy here. I thought for sure it used the, they used the dust, but apparently not. Not thought it either. What the chicken? Okay, I am stumped. I have no idea how this is supposed to work. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. I'm gonna look this up, and then we're gonna end the episode because now I'm feeling really dumb. <laughs> oh man. Uh. All right. Let's see here. Checking. 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 Oh, pfft. 
I was dancing all the way around that. <laughs> it's this, and then, uh, like that. There we go. <laughs> uh, all right. Sorry, I'm so so used to things needing to use the whole the whole crafting box there, but. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to end the episode right here. We'll see you in the next episode.